I'm gonna squash you like a bug. <laughs> you thought you'd just slip out before dinner was done? Your wife has been missing for three years. You've given up hope until one day, a miracle occurs. She is alive, but she is trapped. Trapped in one of the most isolated houses, known as the Dovi Haunted House. As soon as you arrive to the house, something is wrong, and someone is watching you. Jack Baker is the primary antagonist of Resident Evil 7. His family, which is comprised of his wife, Margaret Baker, and his son, Lucas Baker, have completely isolated themselves from the outside world. Many believe that they simply left, or died, but something far worse has happened to the Bakers. Jack is the overall leader of the family as seen in this clip where he shows his pure domination over his wife and his son. Come on. <sighs> He's not eating it, Jack! He's not eating it! Shut the hell up, Marguerite! I'm not that for him! Get the hell out of here! You're a son of a bitch! Oh, I can't believe it! Yes! Damn, man, not again! His personality gives him the marks of a true psychopath. Volatile. Oh, boy! Now look what you've done, motherfucker! Barbaric. <laughs> and control of. You thought you'd just slip out before dinner was done? Jack's state of consciousness is nowhere to be seen, as he does not react to what's truly being done to other people. His mind always seems to be fixated on other things. Marguerite. God damn it. Ah, How am I gonna replace this? Jack Baker is a cannibal. There are no doubts that his son, Lucas, has also picked up his father's ways, as research suggests that cannibalism is adaptive. This type of cannibalism is known as survival cannibalism. The Bakers carry a new virus that we have not seen before. Not the T-Virus, or Las Plagas. This virus is something much more deceiving. So far, Jack is the only one of the Bakers that has shown off how this virus works. It is deceiving in that the baker still seems somewhat human, and thus it makes the virus extremely complicated. Jack is easily able to recover from gun wounds, and hardly breaks a sweat in the line of fire. That gun is not gonna work the way you think it will! As I've stated before, Jack Baker is the prime example of a controlive psychopath. But because this is a Resident Evil game, there's a lot more going on behind the scenes. I've theorized that Jack treats his family similar to the way that a cult leader would treat their cult. They are possessive, inhumane, and utterly insane. Jack is so controlling that he will chase you down for not finishing dinner. You, a person that he's not known for half a day. He wants to welcome others to his family this so-called family is just another similarity to a cult leader. There is more than meets the eye when it comes to Jack. There is a bigger storyline that we've not explored yet. How Jack has failed as a father, a father figure, and a successful husband is yet to be known. Nonetheless, Jack Baker is shaping up to be one of the most memorable Resident Evil villains of all time. Did you like the video? Be sure to comment down below which other character or enemy you would like to see me do another lore video on. Thanks so much for watching guys, be sure to subscribe to join the Nachos today. Again, thanks for all the support, and as always, stay single.